Hi everyone. We are going to begin in class four. Here's an example of what it looks like. It's known as Stone Cold. To get the correct file, if you will go to File Open and you will go to your Photoshop in class folder, find in class four and open up the file Carb Stone. If you go ahead and click OK, you'll get a rock. Um, on this rock, we're going to go ahead and give it a new name. The Photoshop file is File Save As. Make sure that you save in your Photoshop completed folder. The name of this document is in class 4 underscore your first name, your last name. The extension given is a PSD. Make sure it saves as a PSD and go ahead and hit save. If you look up here on the tab, the carved stone will change to the save document in class four underscore your first name, your last name. If you want to zoom in, you hold on to your control key, alt key and roll it forwards to get closer. Zoom out or zoom in, you roll it um, out away from you. We're going to go over here on the layer palette. And we're going to change the name of this to Rock Background. Then we're going to duplicate this layer and we're going to call this Rock Text. Go ahead and click OK. You now have a duplicate copy of Rock Background and Rock Text. We're now going to grab your text tool and we're going to make a large box. Make sure that your foreground is black and your background is white. We want to use the font Wide Latin, so it's a very big font, thick font and choose 72 point and then make sure that it's centered and then you're just going to type the words stone cold on two lines. I've opened my character window by clicking window character if you will do that. I also want you to manipulate this just a little bit. I'm going to put some space between Stone Cold. It's known as changing the letting. I'm just going to spread that out just a little bit. I'm also going to increase the tracking so there's space between the characters. Not too much because I want to be able to see it. You can also increase your box right here so you have um, more room for tracking to spread that out if it, if it goes on to the next line. I'm also going to increase the font um, height. And that's how simple it is to be able to do that. Okay, and then I'm just going to move this to the center and I'm not going to move it or touch it or anything anymore. I'm going to hide this layer and I'm going to go on to the rock text layer. By holding on to your control key and being on the rock text layer, you can select the icon in a box, the T and click. Click with control and then click with your left mouse. You now have made the selection of Stone Cold in the rock. Now we'll go up and select the inverse and when we do that, we've selected the inverse. We're going to press our delete key and I know it doesn't look like anything happened but if you carefully look at the rock text, we have just cut out of the rock the word stone cold which was our selection with the inverse delete. I'm going to go ahead and shut down my selection. Control D will deselect and I'm going to go up to layer, layer style and drop shadow and I've added a drop shadow so you now can see the rock has been cut out of the rock background. Not only am I going to do that but I'm also going to add an inner shadow. 
and click on that inner shadow so that you can see it. I'm also going to change this inner shadow to be a screen. You can change this blend mode to be right on your screen. And I'm going to choose the crevice, like a dark brown, um, on the color here. And then go ahead and click OK. And it kind of makes the um, inner shadow a color matching here. I'm also going to add a bevel and emboss. Now it looks like it's chiseled. If you'll click right on bevel and emboss, it will allow me to go in here and I can actually change the, to different types of bevel. You get different looks. Here's an inner bevel. Here is an emboss. So it just makes the thickness of this emboss have different types of effects. The one that we're actually going to use is the um, inner bevel. And then I'm just going to increase the depth just a little bit so it really stands out of the rock, so it's look chiseled. I can also change the direction by choosing up or down. In this instance, it looks good to have it up or down. I mean, have it up. And then I'm going to go into color overlay. I know it's going to do this red color because it defaults to that. But once again, I'm going to go into my um, color, color overlay and I'm going to choose kind of a brown color out here, but instead of, go ahead and click OK, and instead of this being normal, I'm actually going to change this to screen. So it adds a little bit of that color um, see-through because it looks like a screen on there. I can increase or decrease the opacity to make this color overlay blend really well. Then I just go ahead and I click OK. Please, you can go into this layer style and just play with all of the different types of layer styles available to you. Um, you could do so many changes to this. So have fun with that. Then our last step is to actually create a mask. In order to do that, though, we have to have Stone Cold selected. So once again, we're going to be on the rock text layer and we're going to do a control, holding on to our control key on the keyboard and click on this T for text. When we do that, we've made the selection of Stone Cold, the exact one we had before. This time we're going to go down here and we're going to add a mask. So we add a mask and when we do that you can see that we've cut it right out on this mask. What this allows us to do is to go in and add a filter to the word stone cold. You're going to go up here to filter and we're going to go into brush strokes and we're going to choose spatter. Because we made a mask then all we have are the words. Now you can go into the spray radius and you can make it look really chiseled out of the stone. And then you go ahead and click OK and now your stone cold has been carved right into the mountain. That is the end of this video for stone cold. You'll once again do file save. You've saved your PSD. You also will save this as a JPEG so you can upload this to Canvas. So once again, you'll do a file, save as, and instead of doing a PSD, you leave the name the same. Just change the format to a JPEG. Go ahead and hit save. I'll always ask you to um, do the maximum quality. Just go ahead and click OK. And then upload both of these documents, the JPEG and the PSD, to Canvas.